This video is for educational purposes only and is not trading or investment advice of any kind. Trading is risky and you could lose more than your initial investment. Past performance does not guarantee future results. Hello traders, in this video I'm gonna show you how to get started with manual backtesting using TradingView. Now this isn't my preferred way to do it, but if you're just getting started and you don't wanna spend any money on it, then uh, this is a great way to get started for free. So just head on over to TradingView, uh, create a login, and go to one of their charts. So for example, I'm looking at the Aussie Canadian. And to start testing, you're gonna need two things. First, the TradingView chart, which I recommend putting on one side. And then on the other side, put together an Excel spreadsheet or whatever program you use. And uh, you need to have two things. First, you need to have the risk calculator. So start with the theoretical balance. Um, the percentage you want to risk on every trade and then calculate how many lots you will need and then here um, I would rename this to journal and then this is where you enter all of your trades so once you have that set up then go back to trading view and then scroll back to uh, the beginning of the period that you want to test and a cool thing about it is that trading view will automatically highlight the price of the or the closing price of the last candle on the chart so uh, when you press the right arrow on your keyboard it'll move forward by one candle so it makes it really easy to test with and then if you need to move back you can use the left arrow to go backwards and then uh, you know whatever system you're using start executing trades uh, on that system so figure out your risk or uh, is figure out your risk and the number of lots you're going to use and then take it from there so for example if you want to enter a trade here you could say uh what's the date here i guess it's like the 22nd or something so you can put october 22nd um what is this 2015 and then um Aussie CAD entry price of nine five thirty, uh, wherever your stop loss is going to be, and then your exit price, and then you can calculate the uh, net profit and loss. And that's about it. And you want to you want to put this in a spreadsheet because you want to be able to calculate things like win loss ratio, days of the week, and stuff like that later on. And that's really tough to do if you write it down on a piece of paper. So I'd recommend putting it into Excel right away. And that way you'll have a record that you can slice and dice uh, depending on what kind of stats you need later on. So that's about it. I mean, you could use other programs like MetaTrader 4 or whatever platform you're using, obviously. And those are cool too. Uh, but like with Meta MetaTrader 4, it can be tough to set up sometimes if you have like a Mac or a Linux machine or even on Windows, it, it, it can be a little tough, so I don't recommend starting with that, but you could use that also. So find out what works for you and just get started. All right, thanks for watching.